Today we're comparing the pros and cons of RV Troop Wizard and the Dirt, so you can pick the best app for you. RV Trip Wizard and the Dirt have a lot of pros and cons. So today I'm going to walk you through the steps for trip planning in each one. We will also review the extra features that you'll receive when you become a member of each one of these apps. And of course we'll highlight the pros and cons of each one. That way you'll be able to decide which app will work best for your camping style. RV Trip Wizard is my favorite and I've been using it for several years. So let's show you how to actually create a trip in RV Trip Wizard. So the first thing you'll do is you're going to click this button that says new trip and you can name this trip whatever you want. We are going to start our trip at Lone Rock Campground, which is where we were for our last video. RV Trip Wizard will take you to this next screen, which is going to allow you to set up your trip based on your personal settings and based on the size of your RV. See, you'll start with the general tab and you can add any notes or anything you want to do here. Next, you'll go to your RV info and you can put the height, the length, the weight of your specific RV. And then are you carrying propane? And then also if you want to add in your fuel information, you can. Now this is important because this is going to tell RV Trip Wizard how to route you based on all of this information. You can also go here to decide how you want RV Trip Wizard to route you. Do you want to do any avoidances such as ferries or tolls or tunnels? And then also, how far do you want to drive? RVT allows you to either put in your average driving speed or RV Trip Wizard will use the posted speeds for your estimated time. Also, you can have radiuses added to your map, so you can decide how far you want to drive, and you can look for campgrounds within that radius. I have mine set up at 50, 100, and 200 miles max, um, but you can set that up however far you would like to drive. And then they have another tab here for expenses. You can add that if you want. I don't have this set up for myself. And then you're going to save your trip settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Lone Rock Beach. And that's going to be our first stop. So you can see it's going to pull it up here. And if you click Park Details, this is going to tell you all about the campground. Here it features the basic information. You can click the next tab and it'll show you what features the specific campground offers and what the connectivity is. So if somebody has done a review as far as AT&T or Verizon, it will show up here and let you know which services are available at that campground. There are several reviews here for this specific campground. There's also some tips for other RVers about this spot and then weather. So these are your average temps and rainfall for this specific campground. Now, if you decide this is a campground you want to use or you want to go to, all you're going to do is hit add to your trip. Decide how many nights you want to stay there. Let's say you're there for seven nights and then you're going to add this to your trip. So you can see here on the left, this is your first campground. So let's search for our next campground after Lone Rock Beach. So there are a lot of filters within RV Trip Wizard to help you find your next campground. So you can see the rings are on here. That will be the driving rings that I told you about. So let's figure out what kind of campground we want to go to, maybe our prices, and you can do that all within the filters. And let's go to the bottom and click add filters. And let's choose a park type. I usually choose types other than private parks. So let's throw in a few of those forestry, military. So we'll add those in. And then let's go down and you can also do park rating, you can do amenities, pricing, all of this is available to you through Trip Wizard. After you choose your specific filters that you would like, then you can start checking out the campgrounds. So let's just go over and pick out one of these state parks and let's choose Valley of Fire State Park. Let's click on their details. You can see there's some pictures here for you to check out. And again, you have your reviews the features, and the overview. You can also click here to go to the website so you can go ahead and reserve your spot if you like. So, but we're gonna add this to our trip and we're gonna spend another seven nights here and we'll add that to our trip. And if you click on trip here, you can see it has been added to our itinerary. Now, another thing I really like about RV Trip Wizard is the fact that you can put any any address in here. Say we wanted to do an overnight somewhere, so let's type in Walmart. And you can see all the Walmarts are popping up, so let's pick one. 
Let's pick one in the Vegas area. And then we can add this Walmart. Let's say we're spending one night and we'll add this Walmart to our itinerary here. And let's go ahead and pull out and you can see, you can see it starting to route us. If you wanna get rid of all of these campgrounds here just because visually it's driving you crazy, if you come up here to the tent, you can get rid of those and you can just see where you're going. So we can change this to Walmart and save it here and then that way you can see it at a glance. Now if you're also staying at a Harvest Host or a Boondockers Welcome, you can type in that address as well. Here in the bar, it'll pull it up. You can change it to Harvest Host. And then that's going to be saved in your itinerary. Now one of the things I really, really like about RV Trip Wizard is the fact that you can put a location that you're going to in any time. So let's put in the let's put in Florida Fairgrounds because you might decide you want to go to the Super Show in January. So let's say we're going to be at the show for four nights. We're going to save the stop. And you know it's not in August. So let's change this and let's lock our dates of stay and let's make it in January so we can go through and add January 19th so as you can see you now have a lock on the side of your stop and the dates are now locked in and it shows you you have 163 nights available for you to plan before this camping spot now I can add before this and after this but this is locked in so the dates here are frozen and unless I go in and unlock it I can't move these dates at all so as you can see, it's really simple to plan your stays with RV Trip Wizard. To plan a trip with the dirt, go ahead and click Go Camping and then plan a trip. So let's hit Get Started. And then where would you like to start your trip? So we're going to start at Lone Rock. And for our destination where we'd like to go, I'll put Las Vegas. So waypoints are one of the things that RV Trip Wizard does not require when you're making a trip. And they do kind of make me a little crazy. But that's because I don't always plan my whole trip. A lot of times we don't know where we're going next because we're so last minute. But if you're someone who plans your entire trip, waypoints won't be a problem for you at all. So after you hit next step, you're going to punch in what kind of vehicle you're driving. We have an, an RV, our motorhome, so I click that. Of course, we're diesel. We're about 35 feet long, and we are just under 13 feet. So we'll just put 13 feet as a precaution. And then you can put click these options if you like. And then the next step are specific options for your route. Do you want to avoid anything? Um, how much do you want to spend per night? You can punch that in if you want. If you don't want the dirt to choose campgrounds for you, instead of clicking start with a recommended trip, you just need to click start with a blank trip. And then you can hit, hit build my trip. And this is the start of your trip. Let's take a peek at the dirt's features, just like we did with RV Trip Wizard. So let's start by zooming out, and we're gonna search campgrounds. And you can see here, there are filters that you can choose here on the left. You can see you can pick your site type, RVs, dispersed, tents if you have that, access, drive-in, hike-in. Now the dirt is known for its backcountry campsites. That's actually how it got started. So it has a ton of hike-in, dispersed campsites which are really cool. It also has features if you need a specific feature for your campground. You can choose what hookups it has, what options it has as far as big rig friendly, what kind of dumps it has, and then do you need any electric? And then of course your size, you can choose that here. Price and then you can see here you can choose the ratings of the campground and they also have air quality. You can see there are options for filtering as well with this app. So let's choose the same campground we chose with RV Trip Wizard and that's the Valley of Fire and that is right here the Valley of Fire State Park. Now one thing you're going to notice is the dirt actually has two separate campgrounds listed and RV Trip Wizard only had one. The camp, the state park itself actually does have two separate campgrounds and RV Trip Wizard list, listed it as one. But if you want to make your reservations, when you click the link to the state park, it would separate those for you. But if you want to see if the specific amenities differ per campground, you'll see you'll be able to tell that better on the dirt. 
So let's click it and look at details and you can see what details the dirt will provide for you. So they have pictures just like in Trip Wizard. You're also going to see a little summary about the campground here, how you enter the campground, your Wi-Fi connection, site types, what features it has, and then the amenities it has. And then you can see here they have a ton of reviews for this park. So that's really cool. It's really important to know what you're getting into before you get there. And then, of course, they also have the GPS coordinates and they have the map for you. So when you go back to the dirt, we can add this to our trip. We're going to click here and you can see it has saved it to our trip. So let's pull out so we can see our drive here. And you can see we started here at Lone Rock Beach. This is the state park, Valley of Fire State Park, and this is Vegas itself. So now let's see about adding a Walmart because let's say we want it overnight. So we type in Walmart and you can see Walmart parking lot, they are starting to add Walmarts throughout the country into the app, but all the Walmarts are not available yet but they are adding more and more unfortunately if you're staying at a harvest host or a boondockers welcome which you know we stay at all the time you cannot put those addresses in this planner because it will only take campgrounds and it won't take um, specific addresses so if you're driveway surfing if you're doing anything like that you will not be able to add it into your trip each one of these apps does require a membership. So let's talk about what you get with those memberships. RV Trip Wizard is a part of RV Life, which has a ton of tools that is available to you once you become a member. So one of their tools is campground reviews. So this is your campground reviews and you can just either type in the campground. Let's do Long Rock Beach. And you can see it's gonna show you all of the reviews for that campsite. Now, if you're an RV Trip Wizard and you want to check out the reviews from there, you can hit reviews and you can click see more details and it's automatically going to take you to campground reviews. So you don't actually have to have a different tab open. This is going to get you where you need to go. Now, they also have another program called Maintain My RV. And this is a program where you can punch in all of the information about your RV and it will give you reminders and tell you what maintenance is due monthly, quarterly, annually. And it's a great reminder to make sure you're staying on top of things. That's a nice thing to have if you're not using Phil's spreadsheet for your maintenance. Now, some of the benefits of the dirt, let's pop over there. Some of their benefits, if you are if you upgrade to their membership, is you also can save on camping. They have discounts up to 40% on quite a few campgrounds throughout the country. They also have gear discounts. So if you need camping gear or whatever, they have teamed up with all these companies and you get a certain percentage off if you purchase from those companies. So I do want to show you one other thing. I really love the layers the dirt provides because I love forestry land and BLM and dispersed camping. We love those sites. So you can see each one has its own color. And if we uncheck, I will show you what that looks like. Now you can see that it's all missing here on our map. But if we go back and add the add them in you'll instantly be able to tell where these lands are and where you can probably get some good dispersed camping that is one of my favorite things about the dirt both of these trip planners have apps available so let's take a peek and you can see which one works best for you so let's start with RV Trip Wizard, which is actually RV Life so that's what you're gonna find it under you can see with the app you can actually find campgrounds you can punch it in you can punch in Lone Rock or you can actually use the around me feature and pull up campgrounds close to where you are. So the next thing you can do is you can actually connect with RV Trip Wizard and you can download a trip that you have already planned into the app. After I refresh, the trip we just made pops in and you can see you can have it on your phone through the app. Now you can download this if you want to route it here in the app. So one thing I really like is RV Life has RV Safe GPS. So once you punch in the size of your rig, you can use this app to route you. Now I can honestly say I've only used it once or twice because we have a Garmin that I use because I like to have my phone free for other things. If you plan to use the GPS directions, the turn by turn RV Safe GPS directions, make sure you go into the bottom into 
profile and account settings and you punch in your RV specific um, height, weight, and all that stuff. So that way, if it's not in here already, you guys will be covered for your driving directions. So let's pop over to the Dirt and let's check out their app as well. All right, you can see here, they're already recommending some campgrounds for us. Let's go up to the menu and we can find a campground. So we can find Lone Rock and it will pull that up for us. And again, we have all the same information that we had on the computer. And then you can also pull, pull your trips in. So here's the trip that we created, all the information about it. And again, we can use it here. Now, if you would like to download your trip to your phone, you can do that. You can hit download trip maps. You can select an area and you can download this in case you're going to lose Wi-Fi and it will be shared on your phone. You can also export your trip to Google Maps. Let's hit export. But I'm going to warn you, if you have a larger RV, you do not want to use Google Maps for your mapping because you could get into some bad situations. You could end up on a bridge that can't hold your weight. You can hit a low bridge or it can make you do a U-turn. So if any of that is um, can be an issue for your size RV, make sure you don't use Google Maps for your for your driving directions. Let's just break it down. Pros and cons for each. So let's talk about the pros of RV Trip Wizard. First up, it is the best trip planning tool in my personal opinion, and that's because you can put in any address into the trip planner. Unlike the dirt, which you have to have a specific campground, you can't put in a home address or another business. I also love the fact that RV Trip Wizard will allow you to lock in dates, um, even if you have a gap between your last campground. I also like all the filters that RV Trip Wizard has. They have a few more filters than the dirt. For example, filtering out for specific types of campgrounds like state parks, COEs, military campgrounds. RV Trip Wizard has that option and the dirt does not. Also, RV Trip Wizard has the RV Safe GPS. It has the RV Maintenance app and its reviews are pretty good. Now let's talk about cons with RV Trip Wizard because there are pros and cons for everything. So one of the cons is it is a little more complicated and has a little higher learning curve than the dirt. So if you just need something basic, the dirt might actually be better for you. And also it lacks a lot of the BLM and dispersed campgrounds that the dirt has. So if your favorite thing to do is to find these types of campgrounds, RV Troop Wizard is not going to have everything you're looking for. All right, let's talk about pros and cons of the dirt. Now their biggest pro is they are hands down the best place to find Dispersed Camping and BLM Land. They have great descriptions. If you're looking for it, you're going to find it in the dirt. Another pro for them is that you can download your, your trip planner directly to Google Maps. So it's really simple to do. So if you have a small trailer or if you're car camping or if you're in a van and the size of your RV is not an issue, you can download directly to Google Maps and it's really, really simple and easy to do. You can also download the maps offline in case you're going to be out of range. And of course, they have discounts with campgrounds and discounts with businesses. The cons, like I said earlier, you cannot input just any address into their trip planner. Of course, they don't have RV safe GPS and you can't filter with as many campground types as you can in RV Trip Wizard. Now let's talk about cost. Both of them, to use all of these features, you do have to have a membership. So RV Trip Wizard is $49 a year and the Dirt is $35.99 a year. We are affiliates with both of these companies. So if you're interested in RV Trip Wizard, we do have a link and a discount code that will allow you to save 25% off RV Trip Wizard and all of the RV Life uh, features. And if you're interested in the Dirt, we have a link for that as well. And you can actually do a trial for 90 days of the dirt with our link. So if you're not really sure if you like that one or not, that is a great way to figure out what you really like. Now with RV Trip Wizard, they do have a seven day trial. If you wanna do a head to head yourself, you will have seven days with RV Trip Wizard to do that. All right guys, that's it. That's both of these trip planners in a nutshell. Of course, both of them have a few features that I've left out, um, but these are the main features for both of these programs. So let me know what you're using to plan your RV trips 
or which one you have. Do you like the dirt? What do you like best about it? Do you like RV Trip Wizard? What do you like best about that? Dropping that into the comments will really help anybody doing their own research trying to figure out which trip planner works for them. That's it for me today. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget you can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and our village. And hopefully one day you'll also see us on the road. 